And new this morning, Feeding San Diego is teaming up with two organizations that are hosting a food drive for our nation's heroes. Let's go out to ABC 10 News reporter Danny Miskell. She is at Mariners Park right now. Danny, there are thousands of military heroes and families struggling with food security every year. And the gentleman you interviewed, he just seems so passionate about this cause. Good morning to you. Good morning, Aaron. Yes, we're going to hear from Travis James um, uh, some more in just a minute. But, you know, going back to what you just mentioned about how there are thousands of military members who struggle with food insecurity, we actually have some stats just to kind of put that a little more into perspective for you. The Department of Defense reports that one in two junior service member enlisted service members struggle with food insecurity along with their spouses every year. And there are as many as 160,000 active duty members who are also struggling to put food on the table. And why is that? Well, let's go ahead and break down some of those reasons for you right now. So they're saying the Department of Defense says that high cost of living is among those reasons. Also, the fact that they have to move frequently. They also have restrictions because of occupational licensing challenges, low pay scale, and many cannot qualify for SNAP benefits because their income is just right above that eligibility line. Now, back out here live, you can see right here behind me, they are starting to set up for the food drive. So we'll definitely show you more of that once the sun is up and once we can get a better picture for you guys. But let's go ahead and head back over to Travis James. For those of you who are tuning in to, uh, with us now, he is actually the man who organized this entire event, this food drive here this morning. Um, so go ahead and talk to us, Travis, about how the operations are going to look this morning. Uh, thank you for having me again. So yes, uh, we're out here actually at Mariners Park and we're setting up for the uh, food drive. So we have volunteers from the church and also many active and veteran uh, volunteers out here today. So we're going to be having uh, a number of things. Uh, we're going to have face painting, uh, balloons. We're going to have a bouncy house. We're going to have things for the kids to come out here to also enjoy. So not just uh, just collecting food, but it's also an activity. And they also can understand more about our organization, which is the International Military Bible Academy. Mm -hmm. We're a part uh, part of the World Mission Society Church of God. So the World Mission Society Church of God, we're a worldwide church. We're uh, internationally known everywhere. So these are some of the things that we uh, do. We also love to do these type of uh, community events. And the thing that we like to do is share uh, God's love with the world. We're, we, we believe in second coming Christ, An Sang Hong and our Heavenly Mother. And we want to be the salt and light of the world so that we can share their love with the world. And this is what we do, um, uh, actually all the time, actually. So we have many, uh, we have many food drives, but we have annual food drive here in Mariners Park. Thank you for sharing that, Travis. That is so inspiring. And they actually today have a goal that they are looking to meet. They want to uh, uh, collect around 2,000 pounds of food for these military families. So if you guys don't have anything that you're doing here on this Sunday, come to Mariners Park and please participate in this food drive to help out our military heroes. That's all we have for now. Live here out at Mariners Park, I'm Danny Miskell. I'll send it back to you guys.